I guess. Okay, I had a request to do the um, Christmas collection as a makeup, so I actually don't have the blush palette because we left it at um, the training rooms where we're doing all of our makeup classes, but I'm going to show you what I have got. So, I'm going to start with the foundation. So, actually, all the packs, all the different Christmas packs, um, there's, there's like pack specials on all of the different... Um, foundations so every pack comes with a particular foundation so we've got like a flawless pack and um oil free um pack and we've got um what's the other one the coverage and we've got the powder velvet mineral powder but i'm going to use the flawless because you know that's my favorite foundation so with the flawless you just give it a shake because it's got a <clears throat> serum in it already and um so you just want to mix those together um, what was I going to show you? I oh, don't. No, okay, right. So I don't. I can't find my primer, which is annoying because it's really good to have a primer on your skin first. It just creates a base for your foundation, and it just sits nicer. But oh well. So we're just going to start with a little bit of foundation. Remember, I said that you only need a drop of this to start with because a little bit goes a long way. That's what I was going to say. Um, the oil-free foundation actually has a serum in it as well, so even though it's oil-free, you still get a ton of like hydration because it's got the hyaluronic acid moisture system serum in it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that foundation. I'm just going to go make sure your skin is moisturised. You can see mine's already been done. And with what I, how I start is I literally just put a dot on all areas of my face where I'm going to need coverage, and then. Once it's on every area, then I'll just blend it all out with my finger. And I do it with my finger first because uh, you, your finger is warm, like it's your skin warmth. So it actually helps your foundation to spread nicely and quite, um, well, quite easily. And also you don't lose a whole ton of product on your brush into your bristles. So I usually will just put the foundation on first with my fingers and then I'll buff it out with the foundation brush. So now I'm going in for a little bit more. Remember, this was only one drop, so a little bit goes a really long way. So the foundation, you just want to ma make sure that your foundation, your face colour matches your neck and chest colour, or your chest colour really, because you always have that little bit of white down your neck, and I just put my last bit of my foundation mm, into that little bit down my neck, just to um, create even coverage and even colour between my face and my neck. Right, once that's all buffed out, you just want to put a little bit of setting powder on that so we can do some blending work. Um, any powder will do, but I tend to go with something that's like a translucent and it is um, 
transparent translucent because I don't want to ruin the color that I've already put on my skin I've already chosen the foundation that I want so I'm just going to set it with a color that's a really non color you just want to have not too much on your brush because you don't want your whole face to go covered in powder so just dust off because a lot goes into the bristles so just going to dust that on the eye area and that just makes sure all the moisture is set on your eyelids so you can do a little bit of eyeshadow and blending and then just a little bit more <clears throat> doing the same thing I'm just getting my brush in and then I'm tapping it off I'm just going to wipe a little bit of the foundation that will be on my lips. You can use a wipe or a tissue or whatever. And my brows. It's just so that you don't have ginger, a ginger base to any of the colour you put through your brows or on your lips. Quite a lot comes off. Okay, so this is our pretty gorgeous new palette which I've already used quite a few times so it's our Christmas palette and it's got all our pretty colors in it Oops. Um, and I'm going to do my usual which is um, a little bit of uh, I guess what would you call it for hooded eyes so I'm just gonna use I'm gonna start with um, the base color is gonna be this kind of reddish it's kind of like burgundy, it looks brown in that photo, but it's actually more burgundy. So I'm going to use that, but I'm just going to use a tiny weeny little bit of that. Beep. So I always put the product on first using my blending brush, and then I'm just going to, I just dust it off so there's not too much product going on straight away. So I'm just going to put that as my transition colour. Really lightly touching, really lightly, otherwise this will go on like I'm too burgundy. So I'm just doing a real light, you didn't, I barely even touched my skin, so I'm doing that again. Other side. So really, really lightly until you've got your colour on, because you can see how it's already intensifying in pigment. And then we're just going backwards and forwards. And that's plenty of colour too. Backwards and forwards, so just go between one and the other. Just to make sure your colour is even. Just uh, to make sure that the amount of colour you've got on there is even. And then I'm just going to blend that right the way out. So blending, just use your hold your brush quite lightly at the in, at the end and just have a loose wrist for this job. Just going over the rainbow, round and round little circles to break up the colour. So this is your transition colour, so you want this to be sort of all around this space here, but not right under your brow and not on your eyelid. And once that colour looks like it's broken up well enough, then you can go choose an eyelid colour. We're just doing a really quick makeup today, girls. It's nothing fantastic. I'm going to actually go with the green today. There's something different. I've got green on and I've actually got pink in this as well. So I'm going to kind of be matchy-matchy today. So I'm going to use my finger. It's easier just to dab it onto your eyelid with your finger. Use a brush if you like, but it's just as easy to dab it on. Ooh, 
That's nice, eh? So intense. Pretty. And I'm doing that all the way, obviously, across my eyelid. And then I'm actually going to use that same pink that I used for the transition colour. This is definitely a different look. I haven't gone with anything this interesting for a while. So we're going to use that same burgundy colour and I'm just going to use my little flat um, blending brush. And I'm just going to dip that into there, dust some off. So I'm going to put that underneath the eye to create a little bit of an eyeliner and to also bring symmetry to the, the reddish colour that's above in the transition area. So again, And then you can just you can literally blend that out. You can bring it down a little bit lower as well if you like. If um, you've got some wrinkly bits under there and you want to just kind of disguise that a little bit, you can bring that colour down slightly. Okay, that was a funny sound that came out of my mouth. Right, so I'm going to do my waterline now. So I'm using a brown eyeline pencil. I'm going right up under my waterline. This is called tight lining. So that gives you a nice a nice eye line. So you've actually like it's almost like you've done your eyeliner, which you would normally do on your lid. You've done it inside your waterline, which creates leaves you with a lot more space on your eyelid, which is just a little bit kind of more uh youngish looking when you've got more space on your eyelid it just is less aging right so now i'm going to put on a little bit of blush in our blush pot so these are in the christmas range as well so it's oh, my eyes are so bunny now you've got the eye the cheeks and something rather else i can't even read it so you've got all these three colors in this little pot i'll show you can i get them open that's the top one <laughs> Oh no, uh, can't get the middle one open. Oh, okay, well that's not very good to show you, sorry. Okay, not going to happen. I'll have to show you that another day. Anyway, we're using this colour. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of this. Swipe my finger in there, and then we're just going to go on the balls of our cheeks. So we just want to find that cheek. Nice round bit, and then we're going to dab a little bit there and take it up into the hairline there. So just get your colour on first, and then we'll blend it out. Just only a little bit, guys. You don't need much. And literally then we're just going to buff it up into the hairline with your finger. And if you want a little bit more colour, just do that again. I want to blend out that transition colour a little bit more. It's a little tiny bit pink for my liking, so I'm just going to go over that, trying not to get onto that green bit. I'm going to buff it out so it's less pink. Still looks pink. Oh well. Anyway, so that's your blush, that's your eyeshadows, then we've got our, um, obviously, mascara. Oh, we've also got this um, cool, these are actually really good because I always use my 
my pat brush and I squeeze it into the contouring. But this little brush is in our makeup pack. So, oh. right, I'm going to show you. I haven't even used it yet. So, I'm going to use our blush palette. Now, our new blush palette is very similar to this one, but it's just a couple of different color. Uh, the pink and the brown are just slightly different different tones, and um, we've got highlighter and all that as well in the new one. But I said I've left mine at um, up at the training center where we're doing our makeup classes. Oh god, open up, please. I'm trying to open this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna swipe a bit of that brown onto there. And literally this is our contour. So we're going to go from the top of the ear there, down to right there on your face. You don't want it to wrap around because it's just supposed to look like a bit of a shadow. I really like this brush, it's actually really good. Wow. And I shouldn't have said that because as soon as I say, oh I really like something, then they say, oh that was only um, a Christmas product and we, we won't have that anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do my forehead because my forehead's a bit high. This is a really good brush. Really good brush. Just puts it right exactly where you want it. I like it. And for me, just under my jaw or along my jaw here. Because it's a bit, that's a bit manly. So I'm taking that back a little bit, and then if you've got gels around here, then you can just This is all just create an illusion that There's less of where whatever you're contouring So then I'm just going to use my <clears throat> Big fluffy brush and I'm going to blend all that out because the main thing is you just don't want any color to be really obvious here. You want to break up all of the colour. Break up any obvious lines so it's just literally all blending out. Blending is 100% the difference between an average makeup and a really nice one. So if you can learn to blend or spend, you know, spend some time blending properly, then you'll have a better makeup, just way better makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows. I'm using the natural pencil and I'm literally just going to go, um, so I'm going to use the spoolie. So I'm going to brush my brows up and have a look at where the gaps are. So I've got on this eyebrow I've got a bit of hair missing just sort of right there. Uh, I need to be able to see a bit closer. I'll just use this little mirror. And um, but I always start on the tail of my brow. So because if you put your colour on and it's a little bit dark at the end, you might just think, oh that actually looks alright. That leaves you enough sort of brow here without it being too dark and too intense. If you start at the front of your brow, you can often start too dark and then the whole thing looks a bit muppety. So I start at the tail, just really gently, little swipes of colour through, just little swipes. And then if there's anything that needs filling in further towards the front, then I do that. And you literally can just brush your colour through and then brush it down. And that's actually not too bad. I mean, that probably could have a little bit more colour, but I don't want it to be too angry looking, so I could just brush those up. So same on the side. I'm going to do this. I totally recommend, if you haven't done this already, to get your eyebrows shaped by somebody who really knows, like get, get somebody to recommend someone to you to shape your brows. Your brows having your brows shaped would it just makes all the difference to your whole makeover honestly it just does cool 
So I don't want really block brows or muppety brows, I just want them to be just coloured, but not too crazy. Good. Good enough for me. Right. Mascara. And you all know how to do your own mascara, right? I'm using the Extreme Volume Lash Mascara, which I love this one. And I also love our white mascara. That's the foreign one. But this one's really nice because it's got a really big fat brush. And I really like that because it helps you to apply a bit of coverage of uh, mascara. Now, if you like, you can actually add a little bit of um, mascara to your bottom lashes if you're a bottom lash eyelash girl. Um, I generally don't um, put it on my bottom eyelashes because when you've got it on your top eyelashes, it kind of lifts your eye up. And when you put it on the bottom, it kind of brings it back down a bit, a bit again. So um, you can actually, if you want to have them on your bottom eyelashes, but you don't want too much, just do the little corner lashes or just outside lashes. And then it's not as heavy looking, but it still does make it look heavier. So that's really up to you if you want that heavier look. Fun for Christmas though. Okay, I'm doing things all out of order, but oh well, you know me, I freestyle. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighter. So for highlighter, you want to, it's going to mimic where the moonlight drops on your face. So forehead, nose. Cupid's bow, cheekbones. I'm not doing my nose because my nose is long enough. And if you put highlighter on the end of your nose, you're drawing attention to it. Um, so I'm not doing that. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of highlighter on my Cupid's bow with my finger. And just remember, just a little bit so it looks pretty. Not, not so much that it looks like you're going to drag show or something unless that's the look you want look how pretty oh, I like it I like it so dewy looking okay and then I'm gonna put a little it's just supposed to look romantic and dewy okay I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my make sure I've got no color on that brush I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my highest part of my cheekbone so again a bit of highlighter go along the top there And it should just look gl glowy and dewy, not a massive swipe. And you'll only be able to see it when it's the light straight on it. That's what it's supposed to be like. So then for me, I'm going to put my highlighter here because I've already um, contoured here to make it look less obvious. So I don't want to put highlighter over top to then bring attention back to it again. So I'll put my highlighter lower. And then that kind of means that my forehead starts lower so it's all illusion all illusion okay so i'm just going to put a tiny little bit of that right up under my brow you could use like a little cotton bud or something if you want to get a really really fine amount pretty eh? well you like it look at it i like it just a little less amount Pretty, 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 sparkly and pretty. I love it. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to finish off with, I've got these three lip glosses, colours to choose from, and I haven't actually tried any of them. So that's no help to you. So hold on. I had to get them all out of their packets quickly. Here we go. So we've got, oh, I can't read them now. We've got Coral Something. <laughs> Magic Rose and Red Eclipse. Wow, my eyes, I honestly need some help. I'm going to try the coral thingy. Coral something. <laughs> they need bigger writing for us old girls. Okay. Ah, that's pretty. That's pretty, and it's not. Mm. It's not overly obnoxious, but I just want to try. I'm probably not going to go for Red Eclipse, but now 
now that it's on the floor, I'm probably not sure. I'm going to go with that Magic Rose and just see what that looks like. Let's try this one. Mm. That's pretty too, but probably for the day, I'd go with Coral. I'll put the red one on as well, just so you can see. Mine's so I do all three now. I've got a big pimple on my chest. Oh no, what's that? Hmm. The joys. Okay, this is red eclipse. So those are our three Christmas colours. So, um, still, I think I'll still go with Coral. But at least you've seen all the colours now, right? Yeah, that's a nice day look. Cool, so that's just a, you can probably do a little bit of concealer if you're a little bit dark under the eyes, but that's just a nice... Christmassy pretty I like the green that's nice so that's the palette so those are the Christmas bits and pieces um now I can't find the palette where, where did I put it the highlight probably being all the pretty colors in there it's just fun it's just fun to play around with nice colors and having something different so I like that and then we've got we actually do have a new palette that's a gold palette as well it's got kind of the same but just a different variation of colors which is really nice and then obviously the lip glosses all pretty and our packs have got and we've got the blushes if I could actually open them to show you and then we've got a foundation in the pack as well I'll, I'll link you to the packs and you can have a look yourself but anyway I'm going to do the final reveal in just a second and when I say grand reveal, I kind of just mean brushed my hair, <laughs> but you know, hair kind of finishes the whole look off, eh? So, right, so that's the whole thing, a little bit of fun, some Christmas colours, and that's pretty much the Christmas um, makeup pack for us this year. So I'll link you to some of those packs, and then you can have a look for yourself. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Have an awesome day. Mwah.